Passwords, pretty much need them for everything these days, right? To log into your bank account, your email, your social media. But as we know, they're not necessarily as secure as we may think. A local cybersecurity expert tells our Nicole Nielsen today there's something you might want to consider doing to fight back against cyber hackers. Every day we're fighting a cyber war and you may not even know it. Hackers want to attack the people that make it easy for them. So how strong is your defense? Well, it all depends on the passwords you choose for your accounts. If your password is, you know, something as simple as password one, two, three, everybody knows that's really insecure. Michael Moore is a cybersecurity expert with M3 Networks here in DFW. He says he's been watching cyber breaches on some of the nation's largest companies for years. But now, in the midst of the war between Russia and Ukraine, he says cybersecurity should be top of mind. Since Russia attacked Ukraine, they have malware that is meant to destroy the lives of American people. And now we're at actual cyber war and they're attacking American people and American businesses. So what can you do? Well, he says instead of using past words, consider using past phrases. They're similar, but there are a few key differences that can help you. But a past phrase is essentially a sentence. And you want that to be at least 30 characters and you want to use spaces. In the example, you know, that I often give people is use a, a vacation destination. Like, I really want to go to Miami. I want to go to Miami. That's at least 30 characters. On average, he says phrases are much harder to guess and make your accounts that much more secure. And if you add in at symbols, spaces, or zeros in your phrase, it ups your security even more. You can add an exclamation point to the end of that if you want. But a password cracker is going to take thousands of years to crack that versus maybe just a few seconds to crack your simple standard password. Michael says good cyber hygiene is something we need to consider year round. One way to do that, make sure you have different passwords or phrases for all of your accounts and take advantage of a password manager if you have a lot of accounts to handle. But the reality is people aim to do you harm and don't make it easy for them. In Dallas, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News. And Nicole says if you ever want to check your information, maybe it's been breached, you can check using a safe website that's called Have I Been Pwned, which is spelled P-W-N-E-D. Far different spelling than you might expect, but don't worry, you can find it on our website, cbsdfw.com. Good way, we're told, to check for emails, phone numbers, and passwords may be found in data breaches.